YouTube, what's going on, man? Yeah, as y'all can see, we got the exact same clothes on. If you watched our video before, we did, we hit this like, well, we did this like It's, a, it's a two P. It's a two P. Back, back. <laughs> back to back, back to back, back. You know what I'm saying? We shoot some more vids for y'all. But yeah, in this video, do not make these mistakes when you're starting your clothing brand. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. You know, we're not gonna waste no time. And yeah, let's go and get to it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let, yeah, let's like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. Let's get it. Want me to roll? Right. Uh, nah, I'll start. I'll bet, start. Bet, bet. Guys, study trends and put your own twist to them. Study trends and put your own twist to them. Not gonna lie, I see a lot of people, you know, because I got this group chat, right? Over 800 plus brand owners in. If you want to join it, just DM me on Instagram. But yeah, people are sending hairstyle designs. I mean, y'all, come on. We can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna call you a star clone. Like, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Study trends and put your own twist to them. For sure, for sure. That goes with TikTok, Instagram, everything. Put your own twist to them. If you see, a, like, a nice little Instagram reel, put your own twist to it. For so, sure, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm going to get to my next one. <clears throat> Do not spend bread on ads until you have a winning product. We spent a lot of bread on ads, and we didn't make no bread from it. Like, I remember spending, like, $100, and I was Man. like, bro, nothing came out. I was like, <laughs> what is going on? I was like, literally, what is going on? But, yeah, make sure you spend bread correctly. Manage your funds correctly. All that. Yeah, all, all, I'm telling you, we have so much things in here that we just blow our money off for no reason. Everything on this, everything on this rack. Everything on this rack is just dookie. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. But yeah, use the resources of successful brand owners. Jawforreal.com, mindofd.com. Yes, sir. Go get on it right now. Y'all, if you could attend a pop-up shop, do not miss it. Even if you don't have your clothes on hand, still go to network. Still go just to see how everything works. You know? A lot of you guys are like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. Y'all, it starts on feet first. I'm pretty sure all the big brands, they start on feet. So, we are, we are, next year, I'm pretty sure, me and D, we're going to sit here, sit down and talk about it, but we're going to try to get more on feet with our we'll brands. We'll be at the Y'all go see us. Online. Yeah. You know, we need to go to these ATL events that they're having, all these big things to meet all these other brand owners, because I ain't going to lie, ATL is like an all-star meetup. <laughs> I mean, everybody down there got a brand. What's Am I up? tripping? I know y'all see it too. If y'all really like up to date in the clothing brand world, it's, yeah, it's kind of crazy though. It's like there's so many different worlds. Yeah. There's a real estate world, clothing brand world. There's a lot of things to do out here, y'all. So you know, I'm just letting y'all know that uh, sooner or later y'all gonna see us out there in these in these events. What's up? Y'all gonna see us click through with everybody else. Man. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's on you. Boom, worse. So he just got get, he just gave y'all the sauce in the game, bro. I'm about to get out of sauce in the game right now, bro. So look, I be tired of y'all sending me y'all. I don't want to say that. <laughs> so look, man, I get a lot of DMs every single day of people telling me to check out their product. And honestly, I can tell off rip that the person who sent me their product do not have no designing experience, do not have Photoshop experience, do not have no type of experience designing. So look, bro, if y'all can't design, just be humble and go hire a designer. At this day and age right now, we still hire designers. I got a little bit of experience on Photoshop, but still, bro, we go and hire designer somebody who can actually get the work done exactly how you want to get it done so don't be afraid to hire designers bro do what you got to do boom next step bro not next step <laughs> next tip bro is you got to show the world your progress show them what you got going on show them how you doing things bro because you want to make them feel like they are part of something people seen you want to make the, you want to make them feel like they're a part of something. People seen our progress from the very start of our clothing brand to the point we are now. I got people that have been coming like, yo, bro, I've been watching you from this point. And that's such an amazing feeling when you got a community locked in with you and it's been locked in with you from the jump. Boom. Next thing, next tip I got for y'all, bro, is to get y'all clothing brand right in every single aspect. Oh, snap, I'm tripping. Next thing I got for you, bro, is to get your clothing man right in every single aspect. Don't miss out on no items, bro. T-shirt, pants, hoodie, socks, bro. If y'all can peep, hold on. Y'all can peep, bro. This is a CL phone case. Like, get, make sure you get your clothing man right in every single item that you got. You feel me? If it's watches, if it's jewelry, whatever it is, throw your clothing brand on it. It's only going to make your brand more identifiable. It's only going to make you more brandable, bro. Next thing, where attention go... I don't even know what this means, bro. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, next tip, bro. Wherever the attention is... Wherever the attention goes, the money is going to flow, bro. Drive attention to your product. Never stop posting. Never stop reacting to people. Never stop showing people. Because the moment you do, the less attention your product has, the less money it's going to make. Guaranteed. If you get a million eyes on your product, you can make a million dollars. If you get a hundred eyes on your product, if your product is worth one dollar, you can only make a hundred dollars, bro. So get your product out there to every single body that you can. On to the very next tip, bro. If your manufacturer can't make the boat within two weeks, you got to get out of there, bro. 
personally, you got to get out of there, bro. We had some manufacturing issues, and that's the, the worst thing that could possibly happen to you because that affects everything. That affects the money that you're making. That affects how the manufacturers communicate with you. That affects how your customers trust you. And you don't want none of those issues going on to your clothing, man, bro. So make sure y'all find and lock in with the right manufacturers at the right time at the right price. That's pretty much all I got for today, man. That's all you got for today? Yeah. And yeah, y'all, this is a short, quick little video, man. Um, honestly, I might try to trim some up of our last video we shot and put it together. If y'all see that, y'all be like, oh, okay. Cool, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, be a lot to make a lot. That's pretty self-explanatory. Mm. Be a lot to make a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be a lot to make a lot. And uh, when you guys get samples from your manufacturer, make sure you tell them to record your measurements. So, like, if you order a bulk, you grab those real quick? That's a Swiss right here. Yeah, if you order a bulk, you know, they should come out exactly how you order in the samples. So tell them to record your measurements. For sure, for and sure. And y'all, have fun with it. Have fun with it, bro. Have fun. You see, he wearing this old, beat up, raggedy, mess up sample. We just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, <laughs> just dude, chilling, just Have fun with yeah. it, man. Have fun with it. There's no reason to do it if you can't have fun with it, bro. If it's more stress, if it's more negative thoughts towards it, you shouldn't even do it, bro. You got to have fun with this game. And y'all, I'm going to let D touch up on this just a little bit because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm just yapping. I'm yapping, but hey, y'all going to watch anyway. Keep on watching. <laughs> but anyways, menu, manufacturers are your business. They, they are your business. They literally are like a business partner that a business partner that is like, you know, behind the scenes. Sure. Y'all, they make all your garments. All, all your quality is coming from the manufacturer. You have to make sure it's A1. Anything on that? So I'll touch on that, the manufacturing part, bro. Just as important as marketing is, your manufacturing actual process is, bro. If you cannot lock in with a good manufacturer, if you can't communicate with that manufacturer, if the manufacturer scams you, if the manufacturer take too long, that affects your whole business, bro. So it really need to, when it comes to the manufacturing, you really need to lock in and find somebody who is suitable for you that will actually benefit your business. Just a little, a little, a little more tips. I think like <laughs> three or four, three or four about the manufacturers. Uh, China is better than Pakistan, in our opinion. I mean, this is Pakistan right here. I mean, would you guys buy this? <laughs> Just come close to the camera. <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> would y'all buy that? I'm not buying that if for I sure. see it online. It just don't look right. And then you're supposed to get free samples with your bulk order. Um, majority of y'all, uh, they're not going to tell you. Why am I saying majority? They're not going to tell you when you order bulk that you're going to get free samples. But you have to tell them that you want that. Sure. And that goes with, you know, putting your foot on the ground with these manufacturers. Let them know what you want and how you want it. Don't That's be sure. just... You feel me? Just going around, not, you know, tell them exactly what you want. Let them, you feel me? Let them make exactly what you want. And then um, read red flags with your manufacturer. If they're taking a long time to text back, they're delaying on your samples, don't work with them. Go find somebody else. I know in our DM, there's like 99, 99 plus, plus manufacturers trying to text us, trying to work with us. Like, there's somebody else out there that can make the quality just as good as we need. For sure, for sure. Look, so also to add to that, bro. This thing that I do all the time when I want to work well, this is some this is something that I do all the time when I want to work with a manufacturer is you gotta video call me, bro. You gotta video call me and show me your factory. Cause what's going on right now is a lot of people are seeing that the clothing brand industry is booming and now they're becoming fake manufacturers and just taking people for their money. So that happened boom, to us. You gotta move smart. dollars. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> we got took because we thought this dude was legit. Man. And I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that day. But uh just a little more tips for you guys. Uh randoms will make you rich. Do not expect your city to make you rich. Y'all, we stay in this city and, I mean, we have people support us in yeah, the city, yeah. but definitely people in Atlanta, New York. I mean, we have people all over the, all over all the country all over the country buying our stuff. It's not even in our city. Our city does show a lot of love and support, and we appreciate y'all. So shout DFW. out to the city, though. Shout out to the city. Y'all boys, boys are there, man. Shout out to DFW. But yeah, y'all, you don't need big influencers to get sales for your brand. You do not need big influences. Y'all can mess with. Y'all just think about it. Okay, right now I have three thousand followers on my Instagram, right? I have three thousand. Okay, at least you can probably. My guess is, if say I was to put on your brand, or say like anybody with like three thousand to like six thousand put on your brand, you can you can at least guess to get around ten sales. That's my guess, right? I mean, that's a pretty big audience. Y'all gotta understand how much three thousand people is. Right. If y'all see 3,000 people, like, in person, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's a lot of people when you really yeah. think about it. 3,000 people are following you and looking on your page. Y'all just think about that real quick. How much followers you got on Instagram? I think I got nine now. 9,000 9, people on this Instagram. So just imagine that in person. Y'all get 500 likes on Instagram. Imagine 500 people walking up to you telling you your fit is nice. Yeah, I like your shirt. I like your, I like your exactly. hair. Exactly. So y'all really. just... So, yeah, y'all don't be looking at the top biggest influencers because, honestly, they have a lot of bigger brands they're working with. Right. Amiri... Nike, 
I mean, come on. We yeah. can we we can keep the. We, I won't I won't have enough fingers to tell y'all how much. But uh, yeah, two more tips for you guys. Reply to all your supported. Uh, reply to all the supportive comments on Instagram, TikTok, all tough cop, all that. Reply to all those. Reply to every single one because you know it's just engagement. Anything about that? For sure, bro. Y'all need to make sure y'all engage with your audience. I seen this the Quan video. Uh, his live he was like bro when he first started his youtube channel he was replying to every single comment because you want to make these people feel like y'all a community like they support you you want to make them feel like you you feel me y'all rocking with each other not just like they a fan of you you feel me so make sure y'all replying and interacting with y'all people for sure for sure for sure sure for sure for sure and yeah the last tip of the day is customers are your family Y'all, customers are your family. Do little deals. Do this and this. Not just Black Friday deals. Because everybody know, everybody trying to make money on Black Friday <laughs> if you have a business. Yeah. But just do something else, you know, that can just bring more of a supportive fan base, bring more of a community. And uh, yeah, that's that's really it. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all use your brand on that. I mean, yeah. come on. There's a lot of different ways you can build your community. Go outside, you know. This, this is a lot. Do what you got to do, man. What you got to do. I'm not even finna explain that yeah. to you guys. But yeah, man, that's everything. Uh, let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want more videos like this, uh, all my other videos be in the K's when I post like teaching tutorial videos. So I'm guessing y'all like these. If y'all want more like, if y'all want more videos like these, just let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, make sure y'all go follow. What's your Instagram? Oh, mindset of D. Mindset of D. Okay, mindset cool, D. cool. Right. Make sure y'all go follow my Instagram. Sure. I mean, make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at job for real. Sure. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and we are gonna see y'all in the next one. Y'all, if y'all want more videos. Let us know, and maybe soon, maybe soon we'll do a rating. Like in, uh, yeah. Rating our subscribers, clothing brands video. I know y'all love the first one, so yeah, we might bring an, we might bring another one, man. But we, again, we appreciate all you guys for all the love and support, and we gonna catch y'all catch y'all next video, man. We out. We out.